Thank you. We are also following some breaking news from Meriden right now where a school bus slammed into a home. This is a view from Drone 3 high above the scene in the Silver City. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where this is happening on Maple Avenue, and that's where we find Channel 3's Roger Suzanne. And Roger, were students aboard that bus? Yeah, Denise and Dennis, there were 11 high school students who were on board the bus at the time of the crash. We actually spoke exclusively to one of those students and she's still shaken up. And when you look at this really surreal and scary image behind us, it's pretty easy to understand why. Now, fortunately, none of those students were injured, but look at this bus. It is still hanging partially in the living room. You can see power crews here are turning off the electricity and they're actually cutting open the wall so that they can remove this bus. Simply incredible. Here's what we know right now. Around 3 o'clock this afternoon, the driver of the bus lost control, hopped over a curb, and slammed right into the home. Now, fortunately, nobody was inside the house when the crash happened. But again, there were 11 children on board, mostly students from Mercy and Xavier High Schools, which are both in Middletown. Unbelievably, though, none of those kids were injured. The driver did suffer minor injuries, and he's recovering in the hospital. Investigators say they are also looking into whether a medical issue may have played a role in this wreck. Mercy High School junior Alexis Kennedy says the whole thing happened in a matter of seconds. Our bus driver usually like hits curves like it's a normal thing, but it like he hit a curb and like I thought everything was like normal and then we hit it like it, we just like, it, it, you know, hit the house. You see it in commercials and on TV, but like you never think it's going to happen to you. It's just insane. Back live now, you can see that construction crews are tearing this wall apart so that they can get the school bus out of the home. Now, the homeowner, again, was not here at the time of the crash, but he is here now removing some essentials from inside the home. The town of Meriden is going to put the family up in a nearby hotel. Again, one person did suffer a minor injury, the school bus driver, but none of those 11 children were injured, and fortunately, nobody was inside the house. Reporting live in Meriden, Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.